listed by CNN as young people who rock. Our core purpose is empowering entrepreneurs to succeed. Here's where I probably always piss someone off. I, I personally think core values like honesty, respect, and dignity are bullshit. Enron had them, everyone else had them, but they're useless because they don't mean anything. Our core values are really specific. Um, go above and beyond, always entrepreneurial, radically passionate, and your team. Spells out Gary, it's our mascot. Um, you ask anyone in our company, they will be able to tell you what the core values are, what they mean to them personally, and how they use them in their job on a regular basis. Everyone coming into the company gets four weeks paid vacation on day one. If you've made it through the interview process, that's it. You're in. We have a Nintendo Wii room. That doesn't mean that they goof off all day. Like, that, that wouldn't make sense for anyone. But it's a fun environment. We also have summer Fridays. Throughout the entire summer, you have a half-day Friday. Buzz is getting the important people to talk about you because they're interested in it. People want to hear your story. You just have to get their attention. So how did we do that? We sent, in the mail, 5,000 packages of chocolate-covered grasshoppers. Yes, actual grasshoppers that had been fried and dipped in chocolate. Imagine the conversation. You get this in a newsroom where you get PR releases all day. You open this up and everyone's gathered around. What dumb company sent this to me? Who's going to eat this? But that started the conversation. And imagine if you're a blogger. You get stuff all day. You get lots of emails, but then you get this FedEx envelope, which you never get. Um, you open it up and you're sitting at home by yourself, you're probably gonna go tell your significant other, look at this dumb company who sent me something. Right, so at minimum, you've had one conversation just because you received this. We did not want sales from this. We wanted people talking about the name Grasshopper and getting the word out there about it because there are entrepreneurs everywhere. So who was on this list? We, had, we wanted 5,000 people. So my business partner and I sat down and we said, okay, 5,000 people, here we go. We'll, we'll start writing. Okay, those are the 10 people we know. <laughs> I um, said, well, how do we really target the people who are out there talking? Well, we know some of the famous entrepreneurs, so we sent it to um, Richard Branson, whoever else. And we took all the big popular business books, and we didn't send it to the authors. We sent it to the people who wrote the forewords and wrote the quotes on the back of the book. Because that author has already done the vetting and said, these people are cooler than me. We also sent it to every uh, senator and, and Barack Obama, um, his, his, his family, his aunt, his best friend from high school. Monday night, we get a, a call from the Department of Homeland Security. Um, so we got a lot of attention for this. Major news stations eating chocolate-covered grasshoppers on the air. We didn't have to pay for any of it besides the costs here. $9.46. There's all this big push to get on Twitter, but it is not a forum to puke your content onto Twitter. We waited for people to receive it, start talking about it, and then we added to the conversation. You want to post a picture of you eating this. Our total campaign, $67,000. And those are the metrics for May, for May. The one thing that I'm really passionate about is now is the time in the economy when there's more opportunity than ever. Right? So that means the people in this room have already taken the first step. Now is the time when everyone else is saying, no, this economy sucks, is for you guys to stand up and say, no, you're wrong. This economy is great. There is more opportunity now because everyone is not advertising. Everyone has pulled back their budgets. That means that we can buy Inc. Magazine ads for a few thousand dollars, full page ads that used to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. You can do the same thing in your industry. That's what it's about. My favorite is Fortune Magazine, right? Started in the Great, great Depression. It is literally porn for money. Right? And it started in the worst depression that we've seen. And it's super, super successful. They went out there and did something when everyone else said they can't do it. Has anyone seen this graph before? Re Recovery.org or .gov, whatever it is. Um, this is what um, our fine government put out <laughs> when they said they're going to help the economy recover. What's missing? Because if they put it, that's how small it would be. When our president gets up there and says small business is the most important and this is how we're going to get out of the economy, they can't put this bubble up here. They would look like idiots. <laughs> Everyone in this room should know these numbers. They're really easy. This is from the Kaufman Group. 44% of the payroll in the U.S. is generated by small businesses. 
The percent of new jobs created in the past 15 years, 64% of them have come from small businesses. This is where our economy is going to recover, is small businesses and entrepreneurs. I want everyone in this room to go out and generate the job they want and generate 10 other jobs for other people. And that's what turns Pensacola to a different type of place, is creating those jobs that you want, staying here, and continuing to grow.